balance sheet. The term balance sheet refers to a financial statement that reports a company's asset, liabilities, and shareholder equity at a specific point in time. Balance sheet provides the basis for computing rates of return for investors and evaluating a company's capital structure. In short, the balance sheet is a financial statement that provides a snapshot of what the company owns and owes, as well as the amount invested by shareholders. Balance sheet can be used with other important financial statements to conduct fundamental analysis or calculate financial ratios. How Balance Sheet Work The balance sheet provides an overview of the state of a company's finances at a moment in time. It cannot give a sense of the trend playing out over a longer period on its own. For this reason, the balance sheet should be compared with those of previous period. Investors can get a sense of a company's financial well-being by using a number of ratios that can be derived from a balance sheet, including the debt-to-equity ratio and exit test ratio along with many others. The income statement and statement of cash flows also provide valuable context for assessing a company's finances, as do any notes or addenda in an earnings report that might revert back to the balance sheet. The balance sheet adheres to the following accounting equation, with asset on one side and liabilities plus shareholder equity on the other. This formula, that's because a company has to pay for all the things it owns by either borrowing money or taking it from investor. If a company takes out a 5-year $4,000 loan from a bank, its asset will increase by $4,000. Its liabilities will also increase by $4,000, balancing the two sides of the equation. If the company takes $8,000 from investor, its asset will increase by that amount, as will its shareholder equity. All revenues the company generate in excess of its expenses will go into the shareholder equity account. This revenue will be balanced on the asset side, appearing as cash, investment, inventory, or other asset. Balance sheet should be compared with those of other businesses in the same industry since different industries have unique approaches to financing. Special Consideration as noted above, you can find information about asset, liabilities, and shareholder equity on a company's balance sheet. The asset should always equal the liabilities and shareholder equity. This means that the balance sheet should always balance, hence the name. If they don't balance, there may be some problems including incorrect or misplaced data, inventory or exchange rate errors, or miscalculation. Each category consists of several smaller accounts that break down the specific of a company's finances. These accounts vary widely by industry, and the same term can have different implications depending on the nature of the business. But there are a few common components that investors are likely to come across. Z. Accounts within this segment are listed from top to bottom in order of their liquidity. This is the ease with which they can be converted into cash. They are divided into current asset, which can be converted to cash in one year or less, and non-current or long-term asset, which cannot. Here is the general order of account within current asset. Cash and cash equivalent are the most liquid asset and can include treasury bills and short-term certificate of deposit, as well as hard currency. Marketable securities are equity and debt securities for which there is a liquid market. Account retrievable refer to money that customers owe the company. This may include an allowance for doubtful account as some customers may not pay what they owe. Inventory refers to any goods available for sale, valued at the lower of the cost or market price. Prepaid expenses represent the value that has already been paid for, such as insurance, advertising contract, or rent. Long-term assets include the following. Long-term investments are securities that will not or cannot be liquidated in the next year. Fixed asset include land, machinery, equipment, building, and other durable, generally capital-intensive asset. Intangible asset include non-physical assets such as intellectual property and goodwill. These assets are generally only listed on the balance sheet if they are acquired, rather than developed in-house. Their value may thus be widely understated. 
or just as widely overstated. Thank you.